Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician on YouTube channel. Today is not, <laughs> I'm not gonna review, really review anything. Uh, I'm just paying homage to uh, my collection of fluke uh, meters. Uh, I would say some of them that I have, uh, not all the fluke test instruments I have, but as far as the multimeters and uh, the clamp meter and uh, uh, the uh, electrical tester here at the top, I'm just paying homage to them because fluke to me, uh, is an American icon, and uh, I think it's a some other places I think it's considered an icon too in and around the world. But uh, you know, I do like flute tools, uh, I'm a big fan of flute tools, and I, I can't speak for everybody because everybody has their own different opinion about, about multimeters and test instruments. But uh, I've been using fluke most of my career as an electrician, and uh, they've never let me down. And I don't have anything really bad to say about Fluke at all. Uh, I'm not going to say they're 100% perfect. But uh, they're at the top of the list uh, for me. Uh, for me. You know, and, that, and that's just my opinion. So each one of these meters here that you see before you, all of, all of them have history with me. All of them have history with me. And uh, they, uh, except really this one and uh, this this voltage tester here at the at, at the back right here, I mean electrical tester here at the back, you know, those are fairly new. Uh, but the rest of them, they all have history with me. And I'm just, this is my way, just some, just some of, of, uh, entertaining video, y'all, I'm just putting out there. Something good to look at, that's all. So I'm gonna just call out which ones that I have here. And uh, I tell you what, let me, I thought I bought my, oh, okay, I do. I'm just, uh, Call out the ones that I have in front of you, and uh, we just go from there. That's all. The first one is is Fluke's eighty seven uh, three. This is the True RMS multimeter by Fluke. Uh, this been with me for a good while, for a long time, and uh, it was broken when I got it. And uh, I, I, I fixed it. I didn't have to do a major repair to it, but I wound up fixing it. And it um, it works perfectly now, but it, this is the Fluke eighty uh, seven three, and it's a real good multimeter, still accurate to this day, and uh, that's one of the things I like about Fluke. I mean, you you almost have to beat the thong on thing with a sledgehammer, and, uh, and and I'm and I'm I'm probably something inside of it gonna still be working, but anyway, uh, that's you know it's a, it's it's a real good multimeter. Okay, uh, over to it's the left of this one is a Fluke 183 True RMS multimeter. This one came out. This is the first line of uh, data, I believe data logging multimeters that Fluke came out with. I'm not sure, but this was the beginning of a long line of data logging meters. And this is a hard to find. This is one hard to find meter. I luckily, I mean, I lucked up and found this one from someone in uh, I think it was in the UK. And uh, it was like it was it was it was a um, auction, and I wound up getting it. Uh, it was kind of dirty when I first got it. It was you know uh, it probably belonged to a mechanic or something, but uh, cleaned it up, and some of the, it had a few scratches on the glass, but I kind of got most of them off. And uh, but it's a real good meter, and it's, uh, it works good to this day. Um, uh, it's accurate. Everything, all the functions work on it. I didn't see like. Um, you know, anything that we, nobody got in and, and experimented on it. Pretty good meter, and I got it for a really good price. So this is the Fluke 183. I think they came out with the 185. Then they come out with the 187, the 189, then the 189.2. And then from all that came the 287 and the 289, which is back here, right here in the back. Now, uh, this right here is the Fluke 87V, 87.5. This is was a standard for most electricians uh, in and around the world, uh, United States, uh, around the world, put it like that. Um, but I know here in the U.S. it was um, an uh, uh, industry standard. If you work in any kind of plants or, in, you know, you, you had to have one of these. It was a must. And I want to go as far as saying uh, most factories uh, required uh, do, well, it depends on who was the the, uh, the maintenance manager or the engineer of the department. Uh, you know, they required you to get a fluke 
and nine out of ten times you had to get a they bought you a fluke 87 uh five right here so uh this meter here has been with me for a long time over 15 years and to this day it still works perfectly perfectly nothing bad to say about it at all it's still accurate like the rest of the all of them these, these meters this Fluke 87, I've had, I mean, Fluke 1587 FC, the installation tester. I've took it, I've taken it out uh, in the field with me a few times, uh, and, and it, it, it worked perfectly. No problem whatsoever. And uh, I love this meter also, and I love the functions that I have on it. Uh, I, you know, I, I do. It's very accurate. Uh, you know, it's just, it is, it is, it's just very accurate. So, I like this meter also. And the one in the middle is the Fluke 27. This is this is new. Then what I what I mean by new, this is something a new product by Fluke that it came out. It's been out a couple of years now, I guess. And uh, it's a real good heavy duty multimeter. It's really thick. It's thicker than the most. It's thicker than most of the multimeters. You see how really thick it is? It's really thick. It's really bulky, but it's a real good multimeter. It's uh, it's it's. I mean, it looks like the 87 Max, the new fluke that they have out. It looks like the 87 Max. But it may be short of a few features. That That's what the 87 Max may have. But it's still a good multimeter. Now, it's an average ranging multimeter. It's not, it doesn't have true RMS on this one. Uh, so it's an average ranging multimeter. But it's still, a not, it's a still a good multimeter. So if you guys are looking for a good multimeter, just, you know, uh, it's kind of expensive like most of them are. Uh... It's a it's a it's a pretty decent multimeter to get if you're looking for that. It's a, it's a cut between I would say if I had to say about this table, it's a cut between these two. You probably get that, you know. But um, it's a it's a nice multimeter, and well, we know about the the Fluke eighty. I mean two eighty nine. I had turned it off for a minute. Wait, well, went off for a minute. Had it on. The Fluke 289, um, that's, to me, I think that's the world's most advanced multimeter. Now, I, you know, I do hear, and, and that's just my opinion, I do hear on, I do hear on, on um, I mean, I do see on YouTube that some people don't like it. They're saying that it started up slow and, uh, you know, and they do. But uh, if you compare it against one of these new, new multimeters like today, uh, that's just a, a Unity or uh, the Edge Tech, the new new ones. Well, they had time to figure things out after Fluke put theirs out. And if you think about it, all of them cloned Fluke the way it made. So, you, you know, you can't take something that, that I already made and try to make it your own and saying that you are better than me. No, I, I still give Fluke's prop because uh, this 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 multimeter to this day I think is way is way before its time and that's again it's just my opinion uh, yeah it starts up pretty slow but when it starts up and get to running it's a wrap it's over with I mean it's gonna fluke is a nice meter that two eighty nine and two eighty seven I think it's a nice meter uh, keep in mind fluke did not copy the Unity fluke did not copy the H Tech he did not copy they didn't copy the C uh, the Sim uh, all those multimeters that look like this they copied fluke why because there was a leader. That's the leader. And what they say, follow the leader. And that's what they did. They made this look like flukes so it could, they think it's a sale. It's sort of sale. So, um, that's my opinion about that. This fluke uh, 376 clamp meter up here. This one been with me for a long time. Uh, and it's, it's, it's still in good shape. Uh, it takes real care, uh, good care of all of them, but still in good shape. Uh, the newer one out now has the FC on it. And, um, I mean, that's a nice feature to have, but this one don't have it. But I do have the iFlex cable that comes out of the, you know, the long cable and just to keep my heat out of the panel. Uh, so, um, you know, that works for me. And if this one break, when well, naturally, I wouldn't go get another one just like this. I, yeah, I'll buy the one with the FC on it. You know, because then I'll have the FC, not on the FC uh, feature, I'll have the iFlex feature also. So, but yeah, but this one working fine for me and I don't see any reason to uh, just throw it aside because because of that um, that um, it doesn't have the FC uh, feature. This electrical tester back electrical tester back here that serves me right too. That's that's a real good tester. Um, 
I like it. I, I like the, the lead zone. I like the way it, um, you know, I just like it all around. I, you know, I love it. the convenience of it. Uh, I like that, that tester. I like the, um, I, I'm not too keen on all these numbers up here. It could have just had this without that. I'll be fine. But, the only, you know, I, I just like the fact that you have all the basic functions that I, functions that I need. And uh, plus the GF, GFCI tester and uh, the backlight, the resistance and a few other things, you know. So I like that. I, I like that a lot. And I carry that in my tool bag all the time. I have, in fact, I made a pouch for it to hang on my tool bag. I carry it. Plus I keep this inside of my uh, tool bag also, the same bag. But uh, so... That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to just shine some light on uh, an American uh, icon, Fluke, born in the USA. And guys, uh, before I keep on um, rambling on, I'm asking y'all guys to uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that uh, the like button. And uh, those of you who've done it already, I really appreciate it. The channel is growing and I appreciate it. I ask that you continue to help build the channel Let's be uh, be a part of something that's great here, and if, if this thing, this channel is helping you in any kind of way, any kind of way whatsoever, uh, leave a comment. You know, show your appreciation of hitting that like button, share the channel, and I'm gonna try to continue to make videos. Hopefully, that you guys who are in the field, who you know, your old timers in the field, you may see something that even bring back memories. The new guys may see something that you want that you can make memories with. But either or, uh, either way, you know, I, I appreciate it if you hit that like button or you hit that hit that subscribe button, share the channel. All right, so uh, so that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to do. Just uh, just talk about my few meters right here and uh, for a minute, shine some light on it. I don't know where this idea come from. I was just laying down and just uh, just came to my head. I ain't gonna vacate my head. So uh, I'm, I'm you know I'm a person that like to listen to their first mind and hopefully somebody finds some entertainment in this. So with all that being said, guys, I want to thank you again and. Um, don't forget, I say, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and, uh, you know, that helps the channel. So, guys, you take care, and, all of, uh, you know, and, and peace out out there. And until next, the next video, so long.